breaking nudes. Jupiter's legacy is canceled. That's right, folks. It's over, Johnny. It's over. Poor Let's just get right into it, folks. We've got sad, sad news for the trailer that we were or good meh news on. Depending. Eh, yeah, I guess it depends. Looks like the Miller World production, Jupiter's Legacy, ends after one season. Netflix orders live action Super Crooks spinoff. Great name. What is going on here, Noob Noob? Fantastic. I don't understand. Fantastic. Super Jail? Super Jail is pretty good. Uh, I don't know. Jupiter's Legacy was their flagship uh, Miller World show, and it I guess it, it didn't stick with Netflix, and uh, it is canceled. Although, I think in the article somewhere it says... We may come back to it at a later date, well, but we have released all of the stars from their contracts, so I don't know who they're coming back with. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Should we do spoilers for what would have happened? Or? I was gonna. Yeah, we probably should, because it's not really spoiling a show that's not happening anymore. Yeah. So well, we still should be clear. It's spoiling the comic book. Yeah, we will spoil the comic book. We have no idea what was going to happen in the actual show itself, but it looks like it's uh, done after one season. Mark Millar or Mark Miller is uh he has a, a whole statement but he says that they're going to do super crooks instead which centers on villains of the same fictional universe yeah but it covers so much time i think it's it's a little confusing yeah. to people it seems like well i think or another part of the statement it seems like instead of it being like a jupiter legacy miller world thing miller world is going to be an anthology so they're going to do different stories in the millerverse or miller world whatever the hell they call it well, and ju I, I don't that seems dumb but sure here's his full statement I'm really proud of what the team achieved with Jupiter's Legacy and the amazing work everyone did on that origin season oranges oh boy I've been asked a lot about what we're planning next with this world and the answer is Canceling to it. see what the super villains are getting up to really I was pretty sure there weren't any in the, <laughs> there was like one a black yeah. star and that was it uh, he says I've always loved Crime stories from Scorsese to Tor Tarantino and supervillains are always the most fun of any superhero story. To do something exclusively focused on the villains, they fight just feels incredibly fresh as we explore what it's like to be a bad guy in a world crawling with good guys who want to put you in jail. Except for the fact they've all been released from their contracts. So they either have to renegotiate or not show yeah. up. And clearly the original plan was not to uh, cancel it after one season because they wouldn't have had multi-year contracts. Or a cliffhanger. That too. Yeah. I guess it just didn't do well enough. You know, Netflix doesn't release any of its data, so no one really knows. They claimed it was number one on the streaming service, but I suspect they were looking for a show that had more staying power, and this just didn't. And I think that gets to the argument as to whether or not their binge model is still worthy. Like, is that still... I like binging as opposed to weekly, so it's... Yeah, it's... but when you, when you go weekly, you seem to have more of a... You, you have more water cooler talk, more stuff, more, as they say, destination television. And I think that's what gave legs to, um, if you go to Disney Plus, that's Mandalorian. what WandaVision also, I think got more legs than it probably would have if it didn't have that whole mystery box element going on. Uh, I think Falcon and the Winter Soldiers would have just disappeared had it not been a weekly series. So I think the weekly series allows things, like I think even the boys, Amazon learned from that. Amazon goes, hey, we, we didn't just dump the boys, they dumped the boys, what, the first season? First the three episodes of season two, and then they did weekly after that. And it la we everybody talked about it a lot longer. Whereas if you just drop it and then you get a little bit of, a little bit of bad press, or just people saying like, meh, you know, cause it wasn't, it was okay, it wasn't great. Uh, the other fascinating thing is the concept that in the show itself, it, there's a, a large section that's in the 1920s and 30s. That whole section is a very small part of the comic book, and they really, really um, expanded upon that. I thought you said there was something with there was creative differences between the creator, between Mark Miller. And I, yeah, I thought Netflix. I heard that somewhere they wanted to go in like kind of different directions with the show, so maybe that's why they decided to go on the spinoff series as opposed to... Uh, maybe Miller didn't want to go with the. Maybe they didn't want to start the season off with the the cliffhanger special secret ending thing or change the the story. I don't know, because that's a pretty big thing if they went with a comic book. 
for season two. That would have I wouldn't have really liked it if they did that. So they it, well, uh, people were saying, and, and again, this is a big spoiler for the comic book. We don't know what was going to happen with the show, um, but if you go into the comic books and read further into them, uh, they were going to have a Game of Thrones moment where they basically killed off their main character and started again. And I guess the whole thing goes that uh, the Utopian, played by Josh Dumal, and his wife would be beaten to death and stabbed or imprisoned. I think she's imprisoned in a mine prison. Uh, and that the brother, who's the evil, you know, yeah, guy behind everything. Yeah, he was revealed to be evil. That was a cliffhanger. Him and the son actually are the ones who kill the Utopian. So, And there was no real hint of that in in the comic book, itse- or not in the comic book, but in the show. So it's a little confusing. There's like one scene where it seems like the son is like a little confused as to what he wants to do with his dad. Sexually. Very confused. But I mean, uh, this is, I guess, sad. I mean, Netflix needs to figure out what the hell it's doing because this is the second major investment in superheroes that they've done that's totally either flopped or they canceled or lost the rights to because they gave up on Daredevil and, and all the Marvel properties. And now they're giving up on Miller World. It's like, you guys paid a lot of money for this. They bought it in 2017. Yeah. So, and he's the same creator as the creator of Kick Ass, Wanted in the Kingsman. So, next up is Umbrella. Oh, now they just have Umbrella Academy as the oh, superhero show. Oh, I don't show. even know. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> not good. We're bring not, back Jupiter Legacy. Bring it back. Yeah. Bring it back. Oh, dear God. You can't have Umbrella Academy now as your flagship superhero series. You cannot. Yeah. You cannot. Well, for more news, movies, rants, and reviews and breaking news and all sorts of stuff like that from us here. At Orq. Um, at Our Reviews Will Kill You. Yes. O-R-K underscore you. Absolutely. Uh, please like, subscribe, do all those good things. Touch Noob Noob's bells and whistles. I will titty fuck one person oh my of your God. choosing Why? for a subscribe. Oh my God. You should have said that. Is that is a noob coupon. Noopon. A noopon. <laughs> anyway, uh, from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, to all of y'all at home, we'll see you on the next one.